wants a geeky spree. Welcome back, family and friends. Yep, it's time for a geeky spree. Got some things gathered up. Hope everybody's doing great out there. And let's get on with this because I got some things to go through. Hope everybody's doing well. Like I said, I got this great shirt I saw on sale, and I got a thing for Bubba Fett. So I saw it. It's like a old jersey style shirt. It's a great image there, like a vintage design of Bubba Fett. And I like it, and it's cool, and I had to have it. But I'm going to start off with this item right here. <sighs> kind of like a belated little Christmas gift from my mother. It's an ugly sweater Star Wars shirt. If you can see there, you got your Yoda. You got your clone troopers, you got your lightsabers crossing there, and you have your Jedi orders insignia. It's just it's a fun little ugly Star Wars sweater shirt. And here lately I've been loving these ugly sweater shirt designs. So the more the merrier. Okay, I got another shirt here from Ripped Apparel that I had to have because it's a mashup of two of my absolute favorite things on the planet. It's a mashup of Wolverine and Evil Dead. And it's a mashup cover design of the 1982 Chris Claremont and Frank Miller uh, Marvel Comics limited series of Wolverine, which was the first running series of Wolverine after his first appearance in Incredible Hulk 181, which is my Holy Grail comic. One day it will be mine. The first appearance of Wolverine. But this right here is a good old Ash Williams mashed up with Bruce Campbell. Well, yeah, of course it's Bruce Campbell. Can't talk to that. But there you go. It's the cover number one issue of Wolverine, the limited miniseries from Marvel Comics. And just look at that. I'll put an image of that Marvel comic Wolverine limited Miss series picture up for you so you can see what I'm saying. The comparison is great. But here you go. You got Ash Williams holding his chainsaw up. Say, come get some. I like the little Necronomicon they got down there in the corner. Great mashup. Wonderful shirt. Had to have it when I saw it. Come get some. Come get some. Had to have it. Can't wait to wear that. Everybody's going to be like, that's a great ass shirt. I'm going to be like, I know. Mashed up my favorite Wolverine cover. And I actually have that miniseries. And we, me and my girlfriend and talks to trying to get to a convention later this year where Chris Claremont's going to be. I'm going to try to get that comic signed. It would be great to get that limited series of Wolverine comic cover signed, all of them, all four issues. Okie dokie. I grabbed a, one of these guys and one of these guys as I'm working on the set. The Garbage Bell Kids, really big mystery minis. Here's all the ones you can get there. Glare is awful. Sorry, everybody. One day, I'll bet some cool ass lights for you. Let's get them open to see who we got in here. Uh, <laughs> a little barbarian guy. And he's got two little accessories. Let me get his accessories in his hand. I'll show you what it looks like. He's got a little battle axe. I did not have this one, so I got lucky. Here lately, I'm resorting to eBay and just buying the ones I'm missing because I'm so scared I'm going to have to get doubles, and I don't want to do that. But here he is. I don't know what his name is. I threw my bots away. What's this guy's name? Mad Mike. Mad Mike. There you go. He's got a little battle axes. He's got a great little mullet haircut. I did not have him, so he'll look great with the rest of my 
Garbage Pail Kids Mystery Minis. So let's see what we have in my Sci-Fi Series 2 Classics. Oh, uh, whatever, camera. Don't cooperate. Okay, I got a Sci-Fi Science Fiction Vinyl Mystery Minis Series 2. Still working on trying to get a Voltron. Really want a Voltron. This one's kind of light, so I don't think it's a Voltron, so we'll see what we have in here. I really have no idea. I know it's not Voltron. <laughs> this is a cool one, though. Doc Brown. Doc Brown and his awesome hairdo and He's got the little remote control for the DeLorean. His little biohazard suit. That'll look all right. I'll, I really love me some, um, what do you call it, Back to the Future. <laughs> My brain is all over the place today. But there you go. He is a great little ad. Slowly working on this series. And I got... I only need two to complete my series one of the sci-fi mystery minis, and I'll probably never get them. I need the Mars Martian, Mars Attacks Martian, which is super rare, and I probably won't ever get that thing because it's going for crazy prices on eBay. And I need the Rocketeer, which I really hope to get him. I'm a big fan of that film. It's highly underrated. Grab this at the... Well, my girlfriend gave me this as a stocking stuffer. Just a Avengers water bottle. Pretty cool though. Throw some uh, water in there when I go riding, bicycling this summer. Drink it up. All right. Uh, all right. I have a number of Star Wars Mr. Potato Head designs. I have Darth Tater. I have a Spud Trooper, and I have a R2 Potato. And they're all Star Wars themed Mr. Potato Heads. So I saw this one the other day on a, on a Christmas clearance rack and I was like, I gotta put that with the rest of them. It's a Return of the Jedi style Luke Frywalker. Luke Frywalker, Mr. Potato Head. And he's got his lightsaber and his accessories there. And he just he's gonna be cool sitting over there with the rest of my Mr. Potato Head Star Wars d designed. I like how you can't see it. One hand is just white and his other hand is black, just like in Return of Jedi where he's wearing a glove. And he's got his iconic Return of Jedi Luke Skywalker lightsaber that he constructed for that film. So that's just a fun add to the collection. This is the Spud Trooper. I actually have him. They don't have any of the other ones I have. Like I said, I have R2 Potato and Darth Tater. So that's a cool little add to my Star Wars collection. Alright, I found out a series of books that I'm interested in reading. This is not the first one in the series, but it's the Alien, you know, this movie Aliens. But they have a series of original novels out now, written by Christopher Golden, right here. This is the third one, which I managed to grab at the... Um, the place where you check out the books, kids, do you know where that is? It's called a library. You go in there, you check a book out, and you read it. Anybody know that place? But I got a lot. I got this one at the library. It's called Alien River of Pain. And I'm interested in reading this because it takes place right before the events in Aliens. You know, the second movie in the Alien franchise. So this tells the story of the colony that was on LV-426 right before the Marines and Ripley go there to see what happened to them. But I'll read you a quick synopsis on the back. When Evelyn, Ellen Ripley finally returns to Earth, she learns that a planet LV-426, now called Arkran, has been colonized. But LV-426 is where Ripley and the crew of Nostromo found the original Xenomorph, the killing machine known as the Alien. Protected by the colony marines, the colonists seek to terraform the, the storm-swept planet. Two such residents, Anna and Russell Jordan, 
seeking a fortune to indulge them on earth on Akron and gives birth to the colony's firstborn, Rebecca Jordan, also known as Newt. You know, the little girl they find in Aliens 2. Which, I'm interested in reading this. This, like I said, this is the third one in a series of books written by him. By Christopher Golden. And let me tell you what the other two are. T -t 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 see if I can find it. Bear with me. Actually, Christopher Golden, I'm sorry, does not, does not write all of them. This is from Titan Books. Alien Out of Shadows and Alien Sea of Sorrow, Seas of Sorrows are the two books before this one right here, Alien River of Pain. So I'm going to read this. I didn't even know they had alien novelizations out now. So a series of books I'm going to get into reading again. So thank you very much. Look forward to reading this bad boy. It should be fun to hear the story right before Aliens. That should be pretty interesting. Moving along here to the DVD and Blu-ray Geeky Spree portion of the show. I picked up this one on eBay. Very cheap. It's the Full Moon Subspecies Collection. It's Subspecies Triple Feature from Full Moon Studios. You got Subspecies. You've got Blood Moon Subspecies 2. You got Blood Lust Subspecies 3. And I actually think there's a Subspecies 4, which I gotta get my hands on. But I, I like these films. I think they're really great vampire style films. And Full Moon does some fun stuff. Okay, grab this guy here for real cheap. You know, the Transformers movie that came out a while back. This is the first one in the film series by Michael Bay, which is the only good one in my opinion. Because the other ones after that, just, they just went too crazy and changed too many different things. And I'm a fanboy for Transformers. But the first one I did enjoy with old Shia LaBeouf. I got this one super cheap. A couple bucks, I think. I grabbed Interstellar. Six bucks. Had to have it. Great space. Space Odyssey film. It's just really got a 2001 type vibe. Is it 2001 Space Odyssey? Stanley Kubrick. Somebody help me out. I think it is. But it really reminds me of that film. And it's just beautiful. Christopher Nolan, he did a great job with it. And Matthew McConaughey, he just is acting is superb in it. Grab this guy here for, I think it was four bucks from the old Dollar General. Yeah. It's one of my favorite, favorite Tom Hanks films. Big on Blu ray. I had to grab it. It's such a fun film. You always feel good when you watch it. It looks great in high definition. So I had to have old Big. Got a, di got a digital copy in there as well. And Big is one of my favorite Tom Hanks comedies. The Money Pit, Big, and probably The Burbs are probably my most favorite Tom Hanks comedies. But all of his comedies are wonderful and I really enjoy them a whole lot. But Big is by far probably one of his best. Alright, I grabbed some TV series that was on sale. I'm not a big fan of sitcoms. But every now and then one comes along that I do really enjoy. Like I enjoy Big Bang Theory. It's really fun. I enjoy... Let me think of some more. Uh, Married with Children, of course. But this is a film, a uh, show that was on in the early 90s I believe but it's Wings I love Wings this is the whole series this is all eight seasons I believe yes all eight seasons and I think it's 25 bucks and Wings is just a hilarious show it was greatly acted it has some really fun actors in it Stephen Weber he's great Christopher Bernard Thomas Hayden Church plays Lowell he's hilarious and Tony, what is it, Shabali? He plays, you know, the actor from Monk. He's a great actor as well. And it's all eight series, and I love it. And my girlfriend, this is one of her favorite sitcoms, so I got this so we can watch it together. I don't really like the way they put them all in this box, but, you know, you can't complain too much. 
because they're all in there and all in the individual sleeves. It's like a big stack box and they're all just stacked in there in their little sleeves, but at least they're all contained and I can keep track of them. Wings. If you haven't watched this sitcom, it's hilarious. Love it. All right, I went to old Dollar General the other day hunting for something special. I got that uh, Electro Amazing Spider-Man 2 bust Blu-ray collection. But now I found the Amazing Spider-Man um, gift set with the mask. And I'm going to open this up and show you what it looks like real quick. Which, I only bought this because it's got the little mask in it. I already have the movie on Blu-ray and 3D. So, I may not be keeping this copy of the film. It's got all the embossed cover on it. Like I said, I'm probably not keeping this copy. I'll probably give it away in the future giveaway. Everybody. Giveaway coming soon. Stay tuned on my channel. But I mainly bought it for this little item that's in it. So you can display it if you're a big Spider-Man fan. That's the back of the box. Who wants to see that? You want to see this, right? It's the Spider-Man mask. With great power comes great responsibility. Drink your milk, kids. <laughs> Don't tell me what I was doing there. I have no idea. But this is a cool little little set here. Pop the back of them. It's got a Spidey logo on it. Pop the back of them. It's got your uh, bonus disc in there. And what I'm going to do is I'll probably take out my 3D version of the film and I'll put that in here with it. And you put this in here. Just pop it up on your shelf. And there you go. You got a cool little display item. All right. I got one more DVD purchased. That I came across. A series that I loved when I was a kid back in the day. It's Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! Starring Linda Carter. This is all three seasons. And I just loved this show as a kid. This is all the bots art for you. On the back there. And look at look at Linda Carter. Just look at her and her beautiful self. This lady, to this day, is still rocking, friends. She's still rocking. All right, let's open these up. See, we've got all three seasons in here. Here's the first season. Now, oh, that's in the slipcover, too. Look, my glare is god-awful, everybody. There she is in her disguise. This is the pilot episode. This is what she looked like in the pilot. Look at that outfit. <laughs> I'm glad they changed that. This looks great. So it looks like a great collection. I'm going to sit down one day and watch some of these episodes and just feel like I'm a kid again. Oogling. Linda Carter. Season 2. Lasso of Truth. Check her out hanging from the helicopter. They all have different pictures in the background, it looks like. Look at that. It's just like a big, sprawling picture of Wonder Woman. Beautiful, beautiful set. I actually bought this a couple years ago and gifted it away as a gift. And I was like, man, I wanted that for myself. Go through season three real quick. I'm tired of my geek sprees being so long. I'm sorry about that, everybody. What is going on there, Linda Carter? You gotta look like a swimsuit on or something. It's horrible. You could have done better than that. Let's see what picture they got in the background here. You got Wonder Woman with her lasso of truth there.
She can tie me up whenever she wants. <laughs> I look forward to seeing her and Batman v Superman, Donna Justice. The actress, she looks like she's kicking a lot of butt. I look forward to that. There you go, back up of season three. The Wonder Woman 1970 show, complete series, bot set. How many episodes does it say? All 59 episodes plus the pilot movie. I don't think I've ever seen that. 11 discs, 49 hours of Wonder Woman wonderment. Plus bonus features and three fabulous featurettes. Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! Beautiful set. Also, one more little quick thing. I got this little ring the other day. But like six bucks is cheap. Look at it. It's got... I don't know if you could tell, but you see the scroll work on there. They call it Dragon Scales when I bought it. And I'm wearing it, and I think it's just damn cool. I'm trying to... I don't know. I've been on a ring kick lately. So, everybody, come back and visit your geeky neighbor sometime. Thanks for visiting. Take care. See you next time.